I was looking at Jupiter through my telescope and I started to think of the surface feature of Jupiter and that huge red spot, almost one and a half times the size of the Earth on Jupiter that constantly, steadily stays at the same latitude. And I thought, what about that dynamic? Is that staying there for some particular reason? What is forcing that huge vortex of Coriolis dynamics to stay at that latitude all the time. Um, you'd expect that it would dissipate eventually, you'd expect that it would move in latitude, go all over the place, but it doesn't. And I thought, what if that structure on the surface of Jupiter is staying there because of the dynamics of the structure of the vacuum, the tetrahedron inside the sphere dictating that energy event to happen at that particular spot on Jupiter. Upon his return, Haramain began to investigate. He found that not only did the red spot on Jupiter orbit very close to the magical 19.47 latitude, of the tetrahedron inscribed in a sphere, but that many other planets exhibited similar dynamics. Haramain was not the only one to have noted this phenomenon. At the time, Richard C. Hoagland, former science consultant to Walter Cronkite, CBS News, CNN, and NASA, had come to conclude that some hyperdimensional tetrahedral dynamics had to be at play in planetary structures. He noted that not only did the red spot on Jupiter exhibit the appropriate geometric latitude, but that many other planetary energy events were consistent with this geometry. The largest volcano in our solar system, Olympus Mons on Mars, is situated near 19.47 north latitude. Hoagland used this perspective as well to predict energy phenomena at specific latitudes on other planets that were later confirmed by NASA's probe photographs. So I applied the same geometry to the Earth and I realized that if you put a tetrahedron inside the Earth so that one point is at the south pole and the other points are at 19.47 latitude, on the surface of the Earth in the North Hemisphere. And I looked around to see what was there, and sure enough, I found the most active volcanoes on Earth, the Hawaiian volcanoes, exactly at that latitude. And then I went along that latitude and I found the city of Titeunacan, uh, north of Mexico City, uh, to be at that latitude as well, which is quite remarkable. As we saw in the presentation, the mathematics of that city were decoded by Hugh Holliston Jr. to describe the dynamics of a sphere with a tetrahedron in it. And so not only does the city have these mathematics in it, but the city itself on the surface of the Earth is at that latitude that demarked the relationship of a tetrahedron and a sphere. Remarkable.